Reports are stating that Spurs are in talks with Atletico Madrid star Yannick Carrasco. Spurs head coach Antonio Conte has come out and said that Spurs need at least two transfer windows to really compete. Reports are stating that Harry Winks is waiting for a work permit before completing a loan move to Italian side Sampdoria. And Eric Dyer has come out and said, We are happy with the three points against Nottingham Forest on Sunday, but disappointed with our performance because we know we can play better. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, just before I get into it, please do download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. So download the OneFootball app today. It is absolutely free. The link is in the description. You can keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur, club news, transfer news, information videos, tables and results. Also, you can now stream matches on the app and watch video highlights in addition to general football news. Don't miss out. Let's start by talking about the next round of Premier League fixtures. Four games will take place in the Premier League on Tuesday evening, five on Wednesday and one on Thursday. The four games on Tuesday, the 30th of August, are as follows. Crystal Palace will take on Brentford. Fulham will take on Brighton. Southampton will be at home to Chelsea. And Leeds will be at home to Everton. The five games on Wednesday, the 31st of August. Arsenal will take on Aston Villa. Bournemouth against Wolves, Manchester City against Nottingham Forest, West Ham will take on Tottenham at 7.45pm kickoff our game, and then Liverpool will take on Newcastle at 8pm. Uh, the game on Thursday, Leicester will take on Manchester United. A report has just been published by BBC Sport and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Harry Winks is on the verge of completing a loan move to Syria A side Sampdoria. Harry Winks has been eased out of the picture at Spurs by manager Antonio Conte. Despite his lifelong association with the club, the 26-year-old is keen to kick-start his career. Also in this report, it says that Harry Winks has not started a Premier League game since February and has not featured for a minute in any of Tottenham's four matches so far this season. BBC Sport understand that Harry Winks still needs a work permit, but that is set to be sorted before Thursday's transfer deadline. After Tottenham Hotspur beat Nottingham Forest at the City Ground on Sunday 2-0 in the Premier League, uh, defender Eric Dyer said the following, It was a tough game against good opposition, fantastic atmosphere, very enjoyable to play in. Our fans were amazing as well. Eric Dyer then went on to say, We're very happy to get the three points, but we're disappointed with our performance because I think that we can play a lot better, especially in the first half. We can play better in possession, back to front, every one of us, but we defended well as a team. We dug in when we needed to, and we know how to create chances and score. Dyer then went on to say, It was difficult, they were well organised, but we have to be able to overcome these situations and play better with the ball. Um, these are still positives, the way that we managed to stick together, to defend well under pressure, defend set pieces, scored the goals, could have scored a few more as well. We know if we can defend well and keep clean sheets, we'll always create chances and always score. Now, after Antonio Conte's press conference on Monday afternoon, the Evening Standard have released an article stating their predicted lineup, uh, their lineup that they think Antonio Conte will go with, and they believe that he will be making two changes Benton Kerr coming out of the starting 11 uh, through injury, and Basuma getting his first start in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt. And they are also stating that they think that Ryan Sessignon will be coming back into the side, into the starting 11, replacing Ivan Perisic. So the predicted Tottenham Hotspur 11 is as follows. Lloris in goal, the back three of Sanchez, Dyer, and Davis. The wing backs, um, Sessignon and Emerson. In midfield, Basuma and Hoybier. And in the forward three of Kulusevski, Kane and Son. The match officials have now been confirmed by the Premier League for Tottenham's trip to West Ham on Wednesday evening. The referee will be Peter Banks and the video assistant referee will be Stuart Atwell. 
A report has just been published by the Daily Telegraph and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur are in talks to sign Yannick Carrasco from Atletico Madrid. The versatile Belgium international can play um, either as a winger or a wing back on either side of the pitch and has long been admired by Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte. The report then states that Spurs tried to sign Carrasco on January deadline day, but Atletico Madrid did not want to sell the 28-year-old at that time. However, they are prepared to strike a deal before the transfer window closes on Thursday, with Manchester United having already considered making a move for Carrasco before. And lastly, Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte had his press conference on Monday afternoon ahead of the West Ham game at the London Stadium on Wednesday. But he was also talking about the transfer window. Of course, the transfer deadline day is this Thursday, 11pm. Antonio Conte has come out and said that Spurs need at least two transfer windows to really compete. This is what he had to say. For sure, if, if you were to play one game every six uh, days or, or every seven days, uh, one week a game. And uh, um, from now, I, I try to, to start with the, with the players, uh, with the old players, because they give me more reality. And uh, with the new players, uh, we started uh, to work with them uh, in, uh, in only one, one month and a half. And uh, it was the, the, the reason. And I think uh, at the end, my, my choice is, uh, was good because uh, uh, we got four uh, good result uh, in the, the first four uh, four games. Now, now it's normal. It's normal uh, when you you have to go uh, to play every, uh, one game in every in every three days. It's normal to make rotation. The players to be intelligent to understand that they have to uh, uh, sometimes to go on the bench uh, to come in uh, to alternate uh, and. Uh, for sure, in this moment, this is the moment, this is the period that uh, um, the club, the club can understand if we are uh, really, really complete in the squad, or maybe uh, we could do uh, better. Yeah, and uh, but for sure, compare last season, uh, and uh, we are more complete as a, as a, as a squad. But you know very well that. To reach uh, other teams at top level, and uh, I think uh, we need the uh, time, patience, and the uh, transfer markets. At least uh, to to transfer markets uh, to reach the same level. Yeah. Now, my thoughts on all of these stories in this episode. Harry Winks is waiting for a work permit before completing a loan move to Sampdoria. As I've said many times on this channel, wish him all of the very best. It must be very difficult for him. He's been at Spurs since the age of five. Um, so it will be a sad day for him when he does leave. But clearly, he is not in Antonio Conte's plan. So it is best for him to go. Um, and as I say, wish him all of the very best. I know this is going to be a loan move, but I really do hope that it works out. Um, and then either Sam Doria or another club can come in and buy him on a permanent deal. Now, Eric Dias stating after the Forest game on Sunday, I'm happy with the three points, but disappointed with our performance because we know that we can do better. I think that is exactly how all of the fans feel as well. At the moment, we are sitting with 10 points out of a possible 12 in the Premier League. Uh, we are unbeaten. And as I said on the Spurs chat podcast the other day, um, as soon as we get out of first gear, I'm going to be excited because I tell you what, we haven't got out of first gear yet uh, and we've got 10 points out of a possible 12. So it's uh, it's good, it's positive, um, but I completely agree with Eric Dyer. Um, I was disappointed with our performance, particularly in that first half against Nottingham Forest um, because, of course, we know we've got real quality players. We know that we can do better. And uh, the thing that I'm excited about um, with this squad is the fact that we haven't really seen uh, you know, some of the players yet. We haven't really seen Basuma. Uh, Perisic, we've seen glimpses uh, of him. Uh, Richarlison hasn't even started a Premier League game um, for us yet in these uh, opening four matches. And, uh, you know, we all know uh, what quality he has. Um, you know, look at that fantastic assist at the City ground on Sunday. So exciting times coming up. And But I'm absolutely delighted that we've got 10 points out of a possible 12 and we haven't played that well yet. So hopefully uh, we will have a cracking performance and, uh, you know, the boys can really put a, a great shift in on Wednesday against West Ham.
Now that brings me on nicely to talk about the predicted lineup from the Evening Standard. They think that Antonio Conte will make two changes for our trip to West Ham in the Premier League on Wednesday evening. They think that Basuma will get his first start in a Tottenham Hotspur shirt in the centre of midfield alongside Pierre Mihoibier. And they also think that Perisic will drop out and Ryan Sessegnon will come back in. Um, Antonio Conte will make a number of changes. We have got games coming thick and fast now. You know, from now until uh, the World Cup, which I think our last game before the World Cup is on the 12th of November. From now until then, games are coming, um, you know, every three, four days. Um, so it's going to be a manic fixture list and Antonio Conte will need to rotate this squad. Um, and this is what the transfer window is all about. Having real strength, having real depth, and, uh, you know, in these next few weeks, expect a lot of changes and lots of rotation. Now, lastly, talking about transfers, of course, we've been linked with uh, Yannick Carrasco uh, in the last 24 hours. And lots of media reports out stating that um, Spurs were talking to um, Leeds last week about the possible uh, loan move for Dan James. Um, you know, those will be interesting situations in the next couple of days, whether Spurs will get those over the line. Um, but in the press conference on Monday afternoon, Antonio Conte said that Spurs need at least two transfer windows to really compete. Um, now, when you think that, uh, you know, the business that Spurs have done in the two transfer windows so far, that Antonio Conte has been um, Spurs head coach back in January, bringing Kuliszewski and Benton Kerr in, two fantastic signings um, and two players that are, uh, you know, in the starting eleven, virtually week in, week out and have been under Antonio Conte since January. Um, you know, what we've done in this transfer window as well is very pleasing. Um, I, I would still love to see a signing or two uh, from now until the end of the window. Uh, you know, some people perhaps would say that's greedy, um, but I want to see Tottenham really push on. And if we can grab one or two real quality signings from now until the end of the window, it would be fantastic. Um, but Antonio Conte is building something special. And when you think as well how he has transformed this uh, this squad just in the January window and this window so far. If you give him one or two more windows, just think what him and Fabio Prachi can do. And, uh, you know, Antonio Conte wants to take us to places where we haven't been for a long time. And that is glory days. And that is winning trophies. And hopefully he can get us over that line uh, very soon. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on, you Spurs.